Well, well, well. Hello. How are you guys doing? My name is Frank and I welcome you to the Gotta Use That Ball series. A series in which I use every Pokemon in a team. I make a team around it. And we try to get some kills and decent performance from them. And today, after the episode of Ghastly and Haunter, massive success, we have to go with the Gengar. Now, Gengar does not have a ground immunity no more, but it's okay. Uh, this generation, the 8th generation, has one uh, nasty plot. So I, I thought that the set we want to use today is some nasty plot Gengar. Uh, very strong. We got Shadow Ball and then Dazzling Gleam for coverage, so we don't get walled by any dark types in this tier. But uh, maybe the poison move could be great, I don't know yet, but uh, this is the idea. Uh, firstly, dual stab is not bad either. But with Ghost and Fairy, we have pretty decent coverage that hits everything very nicely. So this is the the idea of the team, right? Um, yeah, that's it. Sub Nasty Plot with a Black Sludge. We can sub down and just be, be annoying. We can avoid um, Sucker Punches with this. I think it's going to be good. Then we do have Tapu Lele with the Choice Specs. Uh, it accompanies uh, Gengar pretty well because it allows uh, other Pokemon that has priority to not be able to hit Gengar with the Psychic Terrain. Uh, and it's pretty good coverage all around. Moonblast, Psychic, Psychic, Plus Flow, Focus Blast. Um, deal pretty well with things that won't be able to get hit by Gengar. In fact, I may even change it right now. I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, we're gonna put Sludge Wave. Maximum power. So the reason I decided to change it is because I already have Moonblast. Uh, having two fairies to I don't think it's needed, but we'll see. Maybe I'll change it future uh, in the future, but the idea is this. You have Flame Orb Obstacle with a Parting Shot, and then three attacks. Facade with the Flame Orb plus uh, Stab uh, and Guts is very strong. Uh, knock Off, always very nice. Goes very well with this team. Um, again, uh, this is the Pokemon that allows me to deal with other ghosts, uh, faster ghosts than Gengar and similar. And switch it to a ghost that basically since I have two weaknesses. So a dark normal type is obviously very good. They have Farting Shot to give momentum and allow Gengar to set up subs easily. We do have classic defensive Landorus with the Rocky Helmet, breaking sashes all around, putting rocks, and then uh, going with the Toxic. It's always good. Uh, and then Earthquake and Newton, pretty, pretty standard set with the Rocky Helmet. Uh, we do have S Choice Scuff Urshifu with a Surging Strike, uh, Close Combat, extra super fast Aqua Jet, and then Newton to give a little bit of uh, Newton combo here. Very nice. And the last is going to be Spadef Covenant with the pressure. You have Braveheart U turn 2, and then Roost and Defog to deal with hazards if we need it to. Uh, so there we go. That is, this is the team. I think most of this team should work pretty well synergize-wise. So I think we could get a pretty decent battle in which Gengar can do stuff. And it's going to be just in one second, friends. So wait up, and let's see how Gengar does today. We'll see. All right, let's see how we deal with a little bit of sand. Let's see. Is Corvin at a good lead? It is, to be honest. And same as Landros, to be honest. I'm gonna leave with Lando. It's good. Tempo Fini starts in, as we expected. Uh, I, I, I did not expect, but it doesn't matter. I think I'm fine. Um, I do have a little bit of speed, but it shouldn't be enough. Right? But... Let me go first into Cor Corviknight. And see with this type of Fini what set it is. You can break subs with... Uh, oh, okay. Choice Cuff is unfortunate. Uh, we'll just use it. Here with a Choice Cuff, we should be slower. Yeah. If it's max speed. So here comes the Tita. Do we see any weakness policy? We do not. Okay. Time to activate our orb. Maybe not. I don't think we need to activate the orb first. Uh, I think we just go for damage. Yeah. Don't need to activate the orb. I think it's just one shot at a time. It's close combat, very powerful. Coming from a strong mon. It's it's good. Okay. 
obstacle, my boy. The time has come to do some damage. I'm thinking to Parting Shot too, but I want to see first if he like plays Ultra Safe. He already made a prediction turn one, so I didn't know. But we do a little, da a little damage here, right? We should be okay. Why am I not getting the flame? Did I do something wrong? Oh, Misty Terrain, never mind. Got it. Moonblast doesn't do enough. And I'm u turning right after this. Good. Now I'm going to this, and I set up rocks. And we'll see if the Tapu Fini can hurt me. We will see. Can Toxic the Tornadus? Yes, if he comes in. I don't think it's a bad idea. Tornadus is very annoying. So if he defaults, we get this Toxic on. Very sweet. Boop. Excellent. And now we'll see if he has knockoff. Uh, I'm going to go for night and knock off the tricked stuff. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, counter synergistic measures of the team. Very careful when using knockoff and trick. Um, it doesn't always work. Okay. <laughs> Kobe Knight is now looking so good. Oh, baby, and Gengar for decent to be honest. Now I am missing Dazzling, so we have to do with this Tita. We have to. Hmm. We'll see. If I has Ice Beam, Ice Sponge, it's time to see the coverage. I'm still gonna play safe. T Wave, excellent. No need to put rocks. Uh, since Torn has a free switch and Tapofini as well. So we're just gonna do this. Yes, good. And now we go into this. Perfect. Now he does have the the T tower, but I think it's okay. We'll just do a little damage. We can switch into our thing here. I'm just gonna play safe still. I kinda wanna sub first though. But I don't think it's it's worth it since Tita is a good option. Honestly, I'm just gonna sludge wave. He brings extra drill direct. This guy's crazy. <laughs> hmm. I so <sighs> Tornadoes has so much, like, no, I mean, this guy has so much pressure. Okay, I'm just Earthquake this time. Earthquake. I think we should U-turn, to be honest, but I'm gonna Earthquake. Ah, I should U-turn. It's okay. I don't think you got Heat Wave with this moveset. I think we'll be just fine. He's definitely going for for Draco I think this turn. Let's see if I'm. I'm it's too. I'm gonna go to Tapulele. Watch this. It is like very obvious the Draco. I think the Fire Blast. Okay, Mila Ground Play makes sense. It's Life of. Now just Moon Blast. I think. See how much damage we can do. Or even Focus Blast. I like Focus Blast a lot. I just need to hit. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Oh, that's some good ass damage. I can just kill the Caesar. Psychic terrain prevents the bullet punch. So, big mistake for my opponent. And we just got a Caesar for free, killed with Tapu Lele. With Focus Blast too. Woo. So good. Now this comes here. Uh. Do I need this? I think I'm just gonna go for focus blast hits. It's so good. I don't think you're sashed. Okay, now he goes for Tapu Fini, which was is which we should have he should have done before. And I'm still pretty good, to be honest. I do have to be the X control with this, so yeah, I had no reason not to do that. I don't think he scoffed X control on sand. That'd be the same. We never know. We got burned, sadly. That's a little stinky. But what can I do? Huh? Teeter comes in. And you still have the Misty Terrain, so I don't think I want to go that way yet. No. Just go to Lando and U turn. 
have the momentum in our side. Maybe we can bring Gengar at some point, right? Yeah. This is pretty good. I think we can even roost. I actually want to use it again. You, ha you have like nothing to hurt me. Nothing at all. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. It's is slow, but we could do it. As extra drill comes in and we do some damage. And no reason not to just go for rocks this time. I've been clicking use on quite a bit this last turn, so I'm being a little annoying. But it is working. He has to keep his Tita uh, because it's the sand as much as he can. Now we get rocks and I'm out of here to be honest. And now we can, I can easily roost. Wow. He doesn't have sand, so if we go to Dracozole, we can like play around it. Without the sand. But we're good. And having this stone toxic is very good. It's excellent, even. This time I'm going for Lander for sure. Now, Fidi comes in. Even if he does this, I am okay. Back into Corviknight. Even dudes and I could, but that's too risky. And sorry, this game is a little stally, but you know, the two teams are kind of well built, so they are working pretty well. I could just shoot him. Can I? Kind of want to stay in on this. Nah, let's shoot him. Weakening this guy. No ice beam. I'm gonna get rocks myself. If he gets rocks, I'll do that too. You know? <laughs> there we go. I have my Urshifu still very, like, ready to go. This is quite alright. Okay, good. Now. Did I go for this? I think so. Oh, he stays. Oh, I think he's either U-turning or going for like Hurricane. Yeah. Okay. Tornado, Tornadus is getting weakened. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. As the Draco's all comes in, Sand goes out, which is good. I will go for Lando again, I think. Uh, I don't think I don't think it kills with Draco. Draco's very strong. I don't have like good switches anyways. Back to this. Yes, I'm you know, I'm glad. Rocks are doing more damage to him. I'm doing a little damage to me, but it's fine. I'm just using the same mods over and over. And this guy is getting weakened quite a bit. Uh, I am getting weakened too. Do I need this? I do need this. I don't think I need this that much, to be honest. Let's go to that. Yeah. Now we catch him on the drink. Come on. Do it. Oh, ball weak. Damn. Are we don't outspeed for this, though. I think this is the time we were waiting for. Just a nice shadow ball. Yeah. I don't see why not. Could even sub, but I don't think that's it's worth it. I think we just go for damage on the Tita. Lele wasn't as important. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Just to switch Shadow Ball. And he doesn't know if I have Focus Blast on this too. Or Dazzle. So Titer is not that much of a safe switch. And I, I would go into Titer, but... Yeah. You're with Rocks. We are doing damage. 
Fush, 9%. Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. No, there's no way you stay. That'd be insane. I've showed you my Rocky helmet. That'd be insane. You're playing well. You're not staying. Yeah. No way. This thing is looking pretty strong right now, to be honest. If I had potion jab though, damn. If I had potion jab. Ah, there we go. This is good. Triple crit. I've never seen this kind of hacks before. <laughs> uh, looking very good though. Double speed is... Six something. I don't know. Sack Corvidite? Even going to obstacle. Nah, I'm gonna sack Corvidite. I think I can. Lando can deal with Excadrill once. So this is okay. You have rocks? You do. I'll just die. Maybe use it even. Just in case he tries to take advantage of me dying. Instead of sand or something. He should just kill me though. Yeah. The misty terrain though. Annoying. Ah, there it is. He brought it, he did it. Gengar comes. And I'm going for another Shadow Ball. Easy. Weakening the T Tar. <laughs> I goes into extra this time. I didn't fall for your ruse. We two hit KO this. That was too risky of a play. And now we get the kill we were waiting for. Good. Good. You did have the sand. There we go. This is fantastic. And this time... I think I want to go into Obstacle this time. I was thinking either Obstacle or Urshifu. I'm gonna go Urshifu, I think. Just wor worry about the T-Wave. What if I just sub first and scout? I'll do it. Oh, yes. Absolutely insane. The scouting sub has been beautiful. If he had Rock Blast, it would have been a bit complicated, but this sub has hurt my enemy. This is good. Now you can easily sludge with. Tyrant has gonna take rocks, it's gonna take so much damage. We are doing it with Gengar too. This substitute play was powerful. And there we go. There's the 9%. We even got the poison! That's a 10% poison. Oh, that's quite a bad, quite the bad log for our opponent. I think, yeah, this is more powerful. We'll just do damage. Gallon goes the T-Tar. We had Earthquake. I think this should kill. Yes! Mama. We sack Obstacle. I think we just sack Obstacle this time. We don't need him. It is strong, but we don't really need him. We have the pieces into our advantage. There we go. Now we can just bring this. Easily U-turn. Oh, actually, he might be fast. If it's dumb. Let's try to bait the attack. We'll go into this. Uh, Sandstorm is about to leave, I think. I think he should be faster than me. Was my calculator. 273 twice 2. Yeah, he's faster. I do have priority, but I don't want to use it yet. Especially if you switch it to the type of Fini, I don't want that. So yeah, we do this. Bulbeak does not do the damage. And this time we're looking quite nice. This time we're looking good. I don't need to do anything. Just need to stay. Yep. Who won with Gengar? Well. In fact, I can just U-turn. U-turn kills Dragon Zolt. And Gengar wins. Yes! God, that was good. That was some good battling action. My opponent was also smurfing, I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, 
good. Come on, buddy. Just let me finish it. There's the GG. I'm not gonna say anything, but it is GG. Good. Oh man, that was so good! That poison it sped the battle so much. My goodness. Well done. What a powerful team that was. <laughs> uh, I did miss the Dazzling Gleam, but at the end, Sludge Wave has been clutched with a 10% poison. 50 turns of battle. Excellent work, Gengar. Excellent work. That was a good video for me. Good job. Hope you, you, hope you have enjoyed, my friends. And I hope to see you next time on another video of this channel. Next episode is going to be Gigamax Gengar in the Anything Ghost here. So it's gonna be it's gonna get crazy, it's gonna get stupid. But I think I know what to do with that, you know. We got very powerful poison uh, like Dynamax moves. So I think we could be it would be some fun stuff. I uh, hope you have enjoyed anyways, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!